Hi everyone, welcome back to Hidden and Dangerous. Here we are in Burgundy, in the beautiful woodlands. Uh, we've parachuted out and uh, we now need to join up with our forces. We've got pheasant over there, we go pheasant shooting if we wish. Uh, and rather annoyingly, it looks like they've lost their weapons. Yeah, he's got a a Colt 1911 as his primary weapon. Ah, oh, rubbish. All right, let's get you into the the shade of the trees for the moment, and see if we can find the rest of the. Oh, they're over there. You can see them on the map. Um, yeah, get the rest of the guys in. So we're here to hit an ammunition store. I'll leave it to the cool-sounding British guy to give you the full briefing. Gentlemen, it's time to put pressure on the Germans in their own territory. As many as 150 SAS men will be dropped into this area. The operation is sabotage. Disrupting the railways, destroying enemy equipment and ammunition depot, and capturing German officers. Our role within the operation is to destroy the ammunition depot and eliminate its personnel. You'll be transported by air to the drop zone and will bail out here at the edge of the meadow not very far from the mission target. First, you have to assemble your entire company next to this demolished building. Move cautiously. If you attract the German soldiers' attention, it may severely undermine the smooth running of the entire mission. This is the recommended route leading to the ammunition depot, which is located here. There is an oil supply depot nearby, which it would be good to destroy, but don't take any unnecessary risks. The depot area is fenced off and manned by the best guards our enemy has, so approaching the building is not going to be easy. As we don't have any details about the guards or possible booby traps lying in wait, it's up to you to assess the situation and how to proceed. When the depot and the other secondary targets have been destroyed, there will be another mission waiting for you. The depot's destruction is the agreed signal for French freedom fighters to gather here and join you. Which concludes this part of the operation. You will proceed further with orders from command based on the situation. That is all. Okay then, welcome back. Right, we've got a different change of personnel today. So RJ Benton is leading the group once again. Um, we've got Daniel Clarkson who's come in as second. He's our stealth specialist and uh, we need a stealth specialist to, s to lay sabotage and bombs. Um, especially in the... Uh, they've got the best troops available. They can see them. Okay. Um, we've got Lawrence de Jong as always and um, Harris our sniper. So Taff's taking a back seat on this one. Right, they can see them. Where are they? Don't know. Um, you can see RJ, you can see us down here in the, the bottom left hand corner there where the red ringed meetup shack is. Uh, if you look directly north of that, over the road into the other bit of woodland, you can see RJ where he's landed. Um, so yeah, we need to cross the road. To do that, there's somebody over here, so I'm going to uh, slowly advance Daniel where they spotted him. Oh, he's, just, he's in front of the shack. So he's got the Delisle uh, silenced carbine, which hopefully will allow us to um, keep the element of surprise and prevent them raising any alarm. Uh, Lorenz has got a M1 Garand. Uh, Harris has got his Springfield sniper. Uh, and obviously RJ with his uh, Colt uh, 1911 pistol. Need to get him. Um, he was supposed to be armed with a silenced, a silenced Sten, but uh, he's obviously lost that in the drop. Oh yeah, I see him. Is it just one though? That's the question. Clean headshot. Have a look on this side. Got somebody over in the woods over there. Do I have binoculars? No, I don't. 
see them. Well, there's more over there. They're on the road, about. Oh, no, I can see the bridge. Is that them there? Oh, it is. I can see one of them. One of them's lying down, then, is he? What can we see? There's one of them. Oh, they're late. They're sitting down. That's why we can't get a clean shot. They're both sitting on the grass bank. Right, okay. Um, I need spotted, that's fine. I'll just use this. Hop back here, don't try and fire at them. There's that second one, I can't quite get him. Quietly does it. There they are. Enemy contact. He's gone. He's gone. Done. Good. Now, Jay, you're safe to cross. See if you can get a weapon off them. Although we want to try and keep this as stealthy as possible. He's got a spade. Okay. They both have rifles, I take it. Yeah, they've checked their rifles over there, haven't they? It's okay. So let's get the rifle ammo. Uh, See, so he's got his Sten gun ammo. Which uh, is pretty useless now, but... Um, do we not have the I have to get rid of some of this Stengen ammo then such a waste a couple of potato mashes as well nice right let's go meet up at the shack with the rest of the boys see so what this guy had on him Oh, he's got he's got a, a Mauser. Um, okay, hang on, that could be useful as well. So if we uh, again get rid of lots of this Sten gun ammo, it might give us enough weight to pick up uh, both guns. Okay, here they come. Here comes Harris. And where's Lawrence? Lawrence? Ah, there he is. He's coming cautiously through the woods. Good man, right. Um, right, the planned location we have been reformed, which is good. Right, let's set the objectives. Uh, assemble at the planned location, complete. Destroy the ammunition store, roger. Good stuff. Everyone okay? Good jump. Yeah, you lost your gun. You've got some more now. That's fine. Right, so now we need to plot our our route down there. So they, they actually said the best route is to head head east um, along this side of the road. You see there's... I, I take that that's probably... Is that a larger road? Or we've got like a... Yeah, I think we've got a river, to, little river stream to cross. And then there's a large road go into that woodland there and then cross over into where uh, opposite the depot location is probably going to be the best thing. Right, Daniel, as you're our stealth guy, you can lead the way. So everyone, silent move, follow me. Follow me, consider it done. And I'll just say, um, hold fire, understood. Try and escape. So we'll go back into the wood a little bit to get a little bit of depth away from the road so the trees can cover us. Okay, we're coming to the edge of the wood uh, for the road now. So we need to be just a little bit cautious, just in case. 
there's any patrols going up and down the road, which there may well be. There's a little shack over there. Do I have binoculars? No. Okay. There might be people over there. Harris. Just check with your optics to see what's happening over there by that little shack. Difficult to see. I wonder if that's like a little, because it's on the road, I wonder if that's a, uh, a little checkpoint. Could well be. Right. Harris, you, you go across. See if the coast is clear. Dirt track this road. Looks clear though. And we've gone up onto that pool. Is that a wire fence? Okay. Alright. What did the other two guys across? Use the stepping stones so we don't get our feet totally wet. There they are. Oh. Right, let's get up there with the uh, the silence weapon. It's a patrol. Oh, it's a patrol. You can see the um, path the patrol's on. It's gone down there. Oh, hang on. He's right at the end. Right Okay, uh, you, you guys stay here. I will go and, and try and uh, clear him out. Oh, there's another one Enemy there. spotted! They're all in the woods, apparently. I didn't see him. Now, I could use the sniper optics to try and finish him off, but we're trying to be stealthy. Yeah, if these are supposed to be the uh, top guards, then if we can get in and out without being heard or seen for the best part of the mission, that gives us a better survival rate. Let's nudge forward. I'm squinting, I can't see them. He's down. There's no one else further up that way, is there? Not that I can see. Ah, is that him by the fence there? A little fern in the way. Squiggle over to this tree. There he is. Now shoot him through the fence. I didn't make it to him, and he didn't hear it, so he got away with that one. I don't know if that clipped the wire and didn't penetrate. Um, yeah, I need to get through there somehow. Get cut our way through this fence and uh, get to him that way. Uh, do I have my wire clippers on my... Yeah, I do have my belt, which is good. Right, let's try and come down here and... through. Oh, there's two. Let's go up to the trees. Oh, the one's running down the, um, oh, God. Right down. 
I've hit him! He's dead! Okay, in those situations, you should always shoot the one at the rear first so he doesn't see the one in front of him dropping. But I didn't see the one at the rear till later. Is, is there another one by the fence? Harris, go and take a look. There. He hasn't moved. Good. Those two have been knocked out, and, um, and he hasn't moved. That's good. All right. Yeah, on this slight bit of higher ground. He's gone. Right, good. So all this seems to be cleared out for the moment. Let's go in, into the shadow of this tree and sit here and observe for a moment. I spotted another one. There, there we go. Well, they heard a footstep over there. No, could have been my own. Oh, there's a couple over here. Oh, there's a little fire. There must be a campsite up there. Meanwhile, we're going to bring uh, the rest of the squad through the fence. So at least they can support Daniel if they need to. And uh, we may go and investigate that campfire because we don't. What we don't want is them coming in behind us and uh, having our our rear exposed to them. So yeah, I think this this could potentially be a bit of a lone wolf mission. Um, just using the rest of the squad to actually carry the uh, explosives and another thing. Visual else. contact. Okay. Oh, I see him. Enemy sighted. Oh, I hit the tree. Not a good time for a reload. I got in. I saw some red. Oh, my God. Enemy killed. There we go. I think I must have hit some foliage the first couple of shots. Well, I know the first one hit the tree, so. Right. Let's go and check out that campfire. You guys sort of cover there. Not sure how many. There's two showing up on the compass, which have been spotted by the guys. Don't see them yet. Let's try and get into this little dip here. See, like a bear trap or something, who knows? Well, you see one now, apparently. I see them. There he is. Are they drinking? Hear them singing. Oh yeah, he's drunk. Look, he's drunk. <laughs> That's brilliant, right, okay. I've hit him! Oh, I don't hear their drunk singing anymore. Oh, 
but there's two of them apparently. I can see one laying down against the log. Is the other one sleeping? Oh, the other one might be sleeping. Oh my god! How many shots does he take? Goodness me. Alright, we're wounded. That was another one. That was three. Didn't see the third one. Alright, can we get rearmed? We've only got one shot. Oh, oh my goodness, we're badly wounded. Oh, do we have um, any first aid on us? Yeah, we do. Uh... Let's get that in there. Alright. Is that what he's got? That's what he's got. Right, Lawrence, I know you've got your arm medic. You get up there. Oh, yeah, he's been shot in the wrist. Look, shot in the wrist. Not nice. Alright, do some first aid there. There you go. He's looking a lot better. Right, um. And crikey, we're only we're only just inside the fence. Um, I wonder if it's worth sweeping all the way to the east of this little fence compound and then then heading up to the um, the thing. Maybe we should split into pairs. Follow. Consider it done. So we'll split into pairs. Maybe um, Clarkson and Dion will go off uh, to the east to uh, scout ahead, and then Bennington and Harris can uh, sort of make their way to the the depot and await for the attack. So I expect there's going to be more patrols in this woodland. Okay, we're coming up to the area now. You can see the stripey check booth. A little checkpoint. We've got something flashing up there. Or oh, it's just a light now. It's just going through the trees. That's why it's flashing. Um, but this is where... Visual contact! Yeah, where are they? On the road? Well, just inside the depot, actually. So I'm thinking we might nip over the road here. And you can see this side is um, more densely covered in in trees. It would give us a little bit more cover. I see them! Where well, are they? Down by the checkpoint, I suppose. Right. Hold position! Understood. Right, I'm gonna go on my belly and sneak closer. A little bit exposed with no trees. Get to that tree line and we should be hopefully okay. Maybe if we can get to this downed tree, we can use that as cover as well. Do not have a truck coming on at 50 miles an hour now. Another fence. Yeah, if we can cut through that in the trees, that'll just give us the guys some cover. We've got a, a hut there, a couple of huts. Are these the oil tanks or something? I think there's ammunition dump actually, isn't it? But they said if we can hit the oil as well, that'd be grand. Oh, sugar! There are two guards patrolling around the fence, and there's one in a guard tower as well. All right, we'll take, we we'll let them go past, and we'll take care of the uh, the guy in the guard tower, uh, the guard tower first, and then maybe get them on their second return. We are going to try and sneak in and. Um, Take out the guard tower. Right. Guard tower. Oh my god, there's a second. Is that Oh no, I just think it's his I just think it's a bit of um his J 
janky physics of his leg on the on the. I thought there was another guy running up the tower, but it wasn't. It's was just his leg jiggling up in the air. Okay, okay, stand down. Right there they are. There you go. See they're at the bottom bottom edge. So I could probably have time to sneak in and um, cut a hole in the fence. But will they spot that? Is it worth waiting for them to come around the patrol? Make a hole anyway. Let me try and ambush him further up. Uh, what does that say? Infiltrate the warehouse undetected. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Apparently that skirmish in the woods was uh, not heard by the, the group here. Oh, there's quite a few guards over there. I can hear a truck. What are these Lego bricks sticking out of the ground? The chimneys. Oh, it's a big bunker, isn't it? it goes, oh, I see. Their ventilation stuff then, or something like that. Visual contact, right. Oh, there's another guard tower in that. Oh, yes, there is. Okay, I don't think the Delisle will be able to hit it from here. Got a couple of it at the gates. I don't know where this truck is, I can hear. Maybe it's underground. And the patrol is moving on. Right, let's um, actually come to those trees over there, but we'll do it undercover. I hear a door opening. There was talk of booby traps as well. Looming light there. It's a stone. I thought it was a mine as soon as I crawled over it. I'm excited. Let's check this out. Where do we need to put? We need to put the mine, uh, the explosives in the actual bunker below us. Right? Are we able? Yeah. There's two guys by the gate. Yeah, I can see them. Be able to get in there. That's a bit of a drop. Before the patrol's uh, coming around. We might have to just deal with the roaming patrol. Do that from the safety of the woods there. Oh, come on. I got him. I got him with that first hit. Didn't do any damage, though, apparently. Well, that's probably going to alert everyone, isn't it? Okay, I don't see masses of people running. Oh, hang on. Let's check. RJ? Visual contact. Oh, they're still by the gatehouse. Did they not hear that? Okay, we might have got away with one there. Okay, good stuff. Okay, uh, the alarm tells us that we didn't get away with that. Okay, we're moving up um, Andrew Harris now, our sniper, into this little dell thing here. It's got undulation in the ground. Getting nice and close to the uh, the front, as you can see. Uh, oh, there's a guard tower there. Let's dispatch them. Visual contact! If I can. The gun growth is not being particularly helpful. Get back under here, and hopefully RJ should be able to cover us. 
Okay, they're actually returning to their position, which is interesting. Out of the mark, another, Enemy sighted. another shot. Oh, I see him. I hit it. Right in the gut, that was. Not nice. Visual contact. Oh, that would have been an amazing shot. So they're flickering around the doors. People coming in, coming in. Not quite. Oh, hang on. I hit him. Guard tower at the back there. Right. Be brave. Oh, there you go. From the bunker. Still gone. You got snagged, I think, Lawrence. Can you hold there. Gone. We know they're in that building. Oh, you just broke the fence somehow. <laughs> I'm not quite sure I managed Enemy that. Sighted. Oh, there's one down by that bunker door as well. Oh, getting fired upon. I see them. Oh, there's one over here apparently as well. And one firing through that bunker door. I think he was deep in the door. Visual contact. RJ's going to sweep. Oh, there's one down there. This wasn't the smoothest operation I was hoping for, or planning for, but... I think I got him. Yeah. Okay, Lawrence. Maximum attack. Oh, right in the plums. Oh, 
That's the mess hall. Food. Alright, last building. Someone hiding back there now. Oh, the showers. That door doesn't open. Right, okay. Those buildings are clear. Let's see what's going on down here then. Those Enemy guys. spotted! Should have aimed that one really. I shot the wall all the way around him. Is that all the first aid you've got? Okay, then you're retiring from that um, assault. Enemy contact! Enemy killed! Oh my goodness me! Wasn't ready! Enemy contact! Oh, let's get out of there. <laughs> goodness me. Right, come on. Get up there. RJ, you're up. Sorry, RJ. Actually, do you have any first aid we can get? Um, you've got your massive first aid kit. Brilliant. Get Lawrence picked up. Is that the best we can do? Try again. One more time. There we go. Perfect. Right, Daniels. Have you come? Get the... Uh, bomb laid in there. We've got three minutes, okay. He's our stealth guy. Of rifle he's got. Enemy contact. Oh, really? Oh, crap. You switch this bloody alarm off. Enemy contact! Ah! Oh, that's better! Right, we've got a bomb to go there. Where's the other bomb got to go? Oh, these open. Okay. Enemy contact! <laughs> Maybe we'll sweep the area. Oh my god, this place is massive. Enemy! Hit him. Sometimes it's best to keep the uh, momentum going. Ow. Let me do that. Okay, that doesn't open. Enemy contact! Going. Enemy. Oh, that's that place. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, we got forty-one seconds for the. Uh... And this is back to where we were. Okay, let's get those. 
our bombs laid down. One there. We'll do, do that one on the way out. We'll get the one over here done first. 27 seconds till the... Uh... Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, supply box! Nice. Right. 15 seconds on the first. Right, let's get that one done. Got three minutes on that one. Uh, what was it? It's over here. Fuel store's been destroyed. Did that get that got laid? Brilliant, right. Um all present and correct now. Is that a different bunker? Because we came through that, I don't know what that where that door goes. There's no one in the uh, murder holes, so let's go and have a. Can't open that one. Can't open that one. Okay. Just what they are. Right. Boom and boom. And there go the stores. The re agreed rendezvous position, which was... Oh, back over the stream, back to where we came from. Okay, good, right. Follow, Follow. me, everyone. Understood. Let's go. Jam. The rendezvous with the... Uh, the civilian resistance. Ah, oh, there Halt! Who's there? I would like to thank you on behalf of us all. You've helped us a lot, and we won't forget it. We're soldiers and doing our job. Forget about it. I don't wish to be rude, but we have one more request. A certain man, a Gestapo officer, will be passing through here soon, on his way, to a meeting with a man named Mourier. Mourier is a traitor. He has been collaborating with the Germans since the beginning of the occupation. I understand. I don't think that'll be a problem. Ah, mission complete. Look at that. So, tasks accomplished. Assemble at the planned location. Destroy the ammunition store. Destroy the fuel store. Contact the resistant fighters at the previously agreed location. Infiltrate the warehouse area undetected. All members of the unit survived. Brilliant. Mission accomplished. Fantastic. RJ Bennington. Um, got a 0.5 kilogram to strength increase, 0.2% to shooting, 0.2% to stealth, 0.5% on first aid after all the work you've been doing there. And new decoration, Distinguished Conduct Medal, awarded to other ranks for gallantry in action. Well then, RJ, on your, your uh, increase and your medal. Daniel Clarkson, uh, 0.5 kilograms to strength, 0.8% to shooting, 0.7% to stealth. 0.1% to first aid. Awarded the Military Medal. Awarded to other Army and Royal Air Force ranks for gallantry in action on the battlefield. Well done, Daniel. Lawrence de Jong. Uh, 0.5 kilograms to strength. 0.5% to shooting. 0.2% to stealth and first aid. Also awarded the Distinguished Conduct Medal. Awarded to other ranks for gallantry in action. And Andrew Harris. Uh, oh, pro oh, hang on, I didn't check if any of those... No, they're all okay, but Andrew Harris has been promoted to Lieutenant, which is fantastic. Um, 0.5 kilograms to strength, 0.4% to shooting, 0.2% increase to stealth. Also awarded a Distinguished Conduct Medal. Fantastic. So there we go. Another mission under our belts. Now it sounds like we need to go and hunt some sort of Gestapo officer. And... Uh, I will be doing that next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. Give us a thumbs up if you are. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.